You might know about the dialogue plugin that I made. In this video I wanted to announce a few things and also give you a status update. First of all, I will rename the plugin and github repo to Dialogic. The previous name was very generic, so thank you Oscar for the new name. After installing the plugin, you'll notice a new tab at the top of the editor. Once you open it, you'll be presented with a new screen. The plugin will include four editor panels and a dialogue note for your scenes. The main panel is the timeline. Here you can create your dialogues using a series of events. When I started developing this plugin, I wanted to do it using graph nodes because, let's be honest, they look amazing. <laughs> but after trying a few of the existing solutions myself, I found that they are not really practical to tell a story. If you have a very basic conversation, it might work, but as soon as the dialogues get longer, your screen gets full of UI elements that really distract you from the writing. So when I started looking for already established solutions, I found that some visual novel editors have a linear, top to bottom series of events. That actually made more sense for me and hopefully to people that might come from those engines to get out to make their new games. So after doing some research and testing things out, I ended up with this panel for writing your scenes. There are several event types that you can add to your timeline and they will execute in order. Here I have an example with some of the basic nodes and let's unfold them all so we can see it. Okay, so the first one is the scene settings. Here you will be able to set some setting as background noise or the background image. In this case we only have a background image that it is this bedroom. And you can change it by clicking here and selecting any other image. So in this case I have some examples, so let's change it to this one. The next one will be a text event. In this case it's the narrator saying hello world, nothing crazy. Then we have a few characters joining, first Emilio on the left position, then Kubuk on the right position. Then we have Emilio saying this text is in a dialogue box, this will be one dialogue. And then when that finishes, so or you press enter or whatever, you will go to the second line. This will be another dialogue. You can create all of the lines that you want. So instead of creating new events for having a very long text, you can do it with just one of these. Then the next node is an audio event. In this case I have the paper sound and when I play it, you can hear it. This will play automatically and we have the next one saying sounds good, okay I'm out and then another event which will make all the characters that are currently in the scene, which right now are these two, to leave. To create these nodes you can do it super easy. You have here all the events available so you can just press here and we create a node. Here we can type whatever, hello there YouTube and we select the character that we wanted to say it. In this case let's do a placeholder, you see each character has a color. You can also make your scenes execute a piece of GD script. I'm not entirely sure that this will be possible, but if not, they will send a signal and from that signal you can do things with your code. The second panel, which is located here, is the character editor. Here you can create and manage the actors to use in your timeline. This panel is very simple as of now. You can set the name, color, description, and soon you will be able to set different sprites for different emotions. So whenever you add a text event, you will be able to specify what portrait to use when the character is speaking. We can also add new characters here, and we can name them and set a color to it. So let's go with blue. And when I have this character saved, you see this tone with blue, you will see it here and the color of the dialogue will change depending on the color of your character. Same will happen here. If we have a join event, character join, tone, and we set the position, the color of the position will be blue. So you know which one is the character that you are using. I haven't started coding the last two panels yet, but one will contain the properties of the dialogue in-game. Things like the background of the text bubble, position, fonts and properties like that. And the last point I want to include sometime in the future is a glossary editor where you can add words and descriptions. So when the player is reading some text, they can hover over a word and see a small label with the description of that word. This can be used to explain a lot of backstory and I feel like it's a great tool to communicate with your players important lore or information without overwhelming them. You can also use it to display the description of a character so in case that you have a very complicated story with a lot of characters and people might forget you can hover in that name and see who is it that they're talking about. 
And I must be honest, I'm a fan of Pyre's dialogue system, so I'm basing all my features on that one for now. But after the plugin is fully working, I want to expand the amount of tools and customization to help anyone making narrative heavy games in Godot. This plugin is currently under development, but you can get it on GitHub. Please keep in mind that it's not suitable to make games yet, since it will be changing a lot from version to version, so it's gonna be tricky if you want to update it for now. My plan is making a few more update videos discussing the progress of the plugin, and once the version 1 is released, publish it on the asset store and start writing some tutorials and documentation. I want to make this plugin as easy as possible so people can focus on writing the story, so I will spend some time making sure that the UI and UX is friendly to anyone regardless of their background. If you want me to implement any feature in particular, you can leave a comment here or an issue in GitHub and I will try to implement it if it makes sense, of course. If you want to help and support me while I develop this tool, you can do so on Patreon or just by sharing my videos on social media. That really helps a lot. So thank you so much and see you around.